Hi, uh, it is Friday, September 3rd. This month is gone. Sayonara. See you later. The future is imminent. Um, it's a little uh, in the afternoon, uh, later than I've been doing. The light is really intense right now, and I have no idea how this video is going to look. Uh, I'm practically blinded. Uh, it, the, it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Here's today's video. Um, Again, I'm going to ask you if you believe in signs. I don't know that I do. I think I want to. I think there's part of me that like wants to believe in in like significance and uh universe kind of having the upper hand being like here. I'm going to kind of guide you by by giving you these little tiny things and I think as humans maybe you know, we want that so bad that we'll find meaning in anything. Um, but there's a praying mantis in my house right now. Uh, and the praying mantis was home, was in my home. Uh, last time I came home, it was up on the ceiling uh, in the dining room area. And at first I didn't realize what it was. It just looked like a giant insect and I was kind of freaked out. And then after a couple minutes, I realized it's, it's a, uh, an albino praying mantis. It's white. It's a white praying mantis. It's not green. Um, and so, uh, I, after a couple minutes of like trying to figure out how to usher it out of the house, how to help it out, uh, and not only because it's in the weird like, place to get to, like I can't really get to it without it being uncomfortable and obviously the falling on me is creepy, it creeps me out, that creeps me out. Um, so I d did really quick research and everything I'm about to say is just from one blog post I found that cites three sources and that's it and that's what I'm going to base the entirety of what I'm about to say on because I found it so kind of compelling, um, in one aspect, the presence of a praying mantis in your house is typically seen as a sign of good luck, and that the praying mantis, um, because it can stay stationary for so long until it decides that it, mo it needs to move or attack based on its instincts, um, uh, there's this philosophy that uh, associates the praying mantis to um, not being with linear time, uh, that time isn't of the essence uh, of being a praying mantis, and uh, there's even um, some of thought that connects that mm, uh, that ability of the praying mantis to time travel um, and to uh, absorb an amount of patience, just being incredibly patient. And so there's one aspect uh, that looks at it and says that you know the the presence of a praying mantis is of good luck and a sign of good things to come. Um, but there is another side, of course. Of course, somebody else sees it the other way. Because a praying mantis um, does things so intentionally and can uh, leave when it wants or, or, or move when it wants to, the idea that it has chosen to come into your house and make its presence known is in some capacity saying, hey, I." Uh, you need to make a change, you need to start doing something differently, you need to start approaching something differently. Um, this is more of a, like, kind of a warning sign. <laughs> or it's just a bug in my house. I get it, right? Like, it's just a bug in my house. But it's bizarre that, that the mantis would even show up, that I would even Google it, and that there is actually these kind of, uh, let's call them churches, uh, about the praying mantis because it kind of is relevant to a place that I'm in my life right now. But again, is that just me wanting to see something that isn't really there? I might actually write about this. I'm really craving the idea of writing about something today or this weekend, and I might, I might write about this. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you see signs somewhere? Do you give stock to things that aren't really there? Am I crazy? Is